Before going to Hinton, we should mention another seminal neural network result that was also in the late 50s, yeah. right? It happened here in Stanford. And this was uh, Bernie Widrow and Ted Hoff. Ted Hoff of the Intel fame. So Ted Hoff was looking for an advisor for his thesis. He comes knocking on Bernie Widrow's door. Yeah. And he comes in, this young kid, and basically starts explaining some of his work to tell him that maybe this is the research we could do. And in the course of that discussion, they designed the least mean squares algorithm. And I interviewed Bernie Widrow. He amazing man. He must have been in his late 80s, early 90s then. He recalled that moment and was telling me that, you know, I wish I had had a camera at that point to take a shot of what we wrote on the blackboard because I felt like we had discovered the answer to life and everything. It turns out that the algorithm that they had invented is a very, very noisy form of gradient descent. Yeah. And gradient descent is the central thing that is being used to train neural networks today. And they had figured out without using calculus, just algebra. They did this on a Friday evening. They wanted to build it in hardware. The Stanford supply room was closed, so they go to the nearest hardware shop, buy all the things that they want. Over the weekend, they basically solder all the stuff together, and by Monday morning, they have a world's first functioning single artificial neuron in hardware. 